Alright. <clears throat> so, I decided that for this, I'm going to um, fix this event. Now it's going to be basically my video today. Um, how I want to do that. I guess I'm going to sand over. Well, I guess these are a little different. I have this and this one. And I will move his event maybe to this square. Um, and then we'll put these back in. Maybe here and here, so you have to walk through the middle and talk to him. Um, this will be very similar to another event somewhere else. So the event will no longer be talking to him, so I can get rid of all of this. So actually I can delete that page and just leave this one. Alrighty. Let's just have him say, safe travels. Alright, and then I'm gonna make two events for either of these squares. Um, it's going to be really similar to, I think, yeah, I have an event that's exactly the same as what I want right here, so I think I'm probably just gonna copy paste this and uh, just run through it for what I want. Um, yeah, I believe I can just copy this page. I think that's exactly what I want right here. Oops. I probably could have just copied the entire event. Um, I don't think... Oh yeah, we probably are going to have to make this a checkpoint. So this will be the checkpoint for wind. Alright. So entry pass. I was gonna make our entry pass through here fifteen. It doesn't matter how much it costs, so I don't have to, uh, I don't really have to think about it. I was just gonna make it 15 before, so that's what I'm going to make it now. <laughs> that's what I want. Okay, so you'll be walking through and he'll say halt, you'll turn toward him, he'll say his little bit about how you have to pay 15 to get through. Um, and then you'll get the choices of either purchase entry pass or no thanks, and when you have purchase entry pass as the choice that you select, then there will be a conditional branch that'll make sure that you actually have 15 or more, um, and if you do, then he says thanks and takes your money, and then we have to switch or checkpoint off. Or if you say no thanks, then nothing happens and you remain where you are. Have a nice day. This is the one for when you're already through. Alright. And this one just switches the checkpoint on. So we'll test that.
because it shouldn't do anything when you're through because it'll turn it off and you have to turn it back on by walking back through so we'll double check because I've been messing with other things so I we'll have to make sure that this goes here we do not want it to go to that spot <laughs> okay it looks good where it is too so Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually made uh, the screen big enough so you can see this whole thing. Oh, we're kind of frozen here. Um, we'll see if I have something else to fix because that took a lot less time because I just used... So this square here turns on our event. Halt. Whoops. If you'd like to continue through, then you'll have to purchase a one-time entry pass for 15. No thanks. Have a nice day. And it sends you on your way. So you can't get through if you don't pay. Purchase entry pass. Okay, so we're through. We're allowed to go through. But if we leave for any reason and go past that point, we have to pay again. So... I don't know if I have enough to get through. Okay, I did. Um, I guess we can do it one more time and then see if we, uh, if we don't have enough money, what happens. Oops, that shouldn't have happened. So if we don't have enough money, he still is letting us through. So I'm gonna have to fix that. So is that this map? This map? If you don't have enough money in the conditional branch, then we also have to say have a nice day and send you on your way. Okay, so then if we run out of money, then uh, all will be well. Let's see, so that's going to section off our first level for the wind area. It's not like super long, the initial ones usually aren't. Um, and then I think that this whole path up to this point will be where the second level will end. So I don't think I have anything for this right yet. Maybe I do. So just that he will get out of the way. But I don't have any sort of transfer at this point yet because I don't have a map for that yet. Because I was debating whether or not I think I could just add some length to this map downward and then make the rest of the map to the... Um, let's see... I should probably continue some of the map this way. You just won't be able to go that way. I don't know if that will look weird. I don't think I care.
just about as far as you could possibly see. I don't have to actually finish this, what it looks like. That's probably it farther than it would even need to be. My brain is not like finishing this <laughs> correctly. I'll get there. Hopefully you won't be able to see this from down here. <laughs> I will have to test that, so... Generally you can see like about like eight units vertically, so... Um, Having like 9 or 10 is uh, exactly what you would need to keep that covered. And uh, horizontally, this should be fine. Um, the player shouldn't be able to see any farther than this. Which I guess if you're out here, you, I wouldn't need to fill this in, but just from that stance. So I'm going to put a transfer over here. Just to make sure that we can't um, actually see this. You get a little bit of uh, some. Oops, it's not starting right away again. I'm not really sure why. Whoops. All right. So we definitely cannot see that. Let me see it from up here. Okay. So we're all good there. And then if I just quickly run to the summit, which may or may not be that quick. I'm not sure if I remember how far away it is. Externally runs backwards. Um, yeah, you definitely... This is only like five units down, so... Um, yeah, I did not need to make that much, but I did, and that's okay. It's only like eight units horizontally and like five-ish down. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so we're good and that's all that matters. So yeah, I think I'm going to stop this video here because I think I've exhausted what I want to do for right now. So yeah, it's just a little bit of uh, some mapping and eventing, troubleshooting, fixing up some things, editing, just uh, for that part of the game about this map. So this map's coming along pretty nicely. Um, I think that I am just going to extend the size of the map. So that's over here in there. Map properties. Um, I'll just adjust the height. Add like another like 50 units and um, then I'll be able to have some sort of transfer from here 
that will continue us up to, um, well, you'll go through a cave, and then that'll be like the whole third level of the stage, and then um, the fourth level will be the summit. So, and I am um, going to add one more level after that, but that'll be like really end game, or like post end game. So, um, they're going to be like secret levels. Not really secret, but um, everything's just going to be ridiculous up there, so that'll be uh, just uh, fun to make, and that will be above the summit, so probably like in the clouds or something, which I may or may not actually have um, some tile sets for, um, so it might end up just being snow, but it will be the clouds, and it'll be fantastic one way or the other, so um, I might even make my own uh, battler sprites for that, so that uh, will come later though, much much later, since I haven't even made the third and fourth areas of this map yet, so yeah, that's uh, it for this video for now.